Hey everyone, so I just figured out that the video I made for you guys, you just got to see me writing away and that's not going to help you very much. <laughs> so I am going to redo the video so that way hopefully you can actually learn something this time. So I apologize for that. All right, let's start again. Let me get my calculator ready here. Okay, so the equation we're going to work on today is we're going to go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. So this is our equation right here. I'm doing the practice uh, questions that are in your packet at the end of the chapter on page 36. So number one, we have 35.1 degrees Celsius. So we're gonna plug this in. Um, remember when we are plugging this in, we have to follow the order of operations. Um, so that's, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS, right? So everything that's in the parentheses must be done first. So we're going to take 35.1 and we're going to multiply that times 1.8. Then you'll have Fahrenheit and then 63.18. Actually, I don't need that anymore. And then plus 32. Sorry, I forgot the 32 up there. All right, so then if you add 32, then you get... 95.18, but we're going to round that to the nearest tenth. So we'll have 95.2 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so that's number one. And then we're going to do number two. Okay, so number two is 28.3 uh, degrees Celsius. So we have Fahrenheit. 28.3 times 1.8 plus 32. So now if we multiply 28.3 times 1.8, you get 50.94 plus 32. And then if you add 32, you get 82.94 and then if we round to the nearest tenth we're going to get 82.9 degrees fahrenheit now let's do number three so number three is 36.8 degrees celsius so we're going to go ahead and plug that in here. 38.6 times 1.8 plus 32. So 36.8 times 1.8 is 66. So we'll have 66.24 plus 32. So you can add your 32. And then if you do that, you get 98.24. Again, we're going to round to the nearest tenth. So we would have 98.2 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so the next one, number four, we're gonna have 41.2 degrees Celsius. So 41.2 degrees Celsius. Go ahead and plug that in, 41.2 times 1.8 plus 32. So take our 41.2 times 1.8, and we get 74.16 plus 32. And if you add that, then you get 106.16. If we round to the nearest tenth, then we'd have 106.2 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, let's do the next problem. 
when you're doing your math problems, it might be a good idea to just do it twice. Make sure you get the same answer. All right, we're going to plug 37.7 times 1.8 plus 32. So 37.7 times 1.8, and you get 67.86 plus 32. So if you add that together, you get 99.86. If we round to the nearest tenth, we'd have 99.9 degrees Fahrenheit. So hopefully this time you guys can see my screen and uh, it will be much more helpful this time if that is the case. So I apologize that I didn't capture the right screen the last time. So anyways, you guys have a good evening. I'm going to try to get this posted ASAP for you guys. Thank you.